Spark in the Dark is a hardcore dark fantasy dungeon crawler where you go to the endless depths of a mysterious grim dungeon. Currently being developed by Stella Fish with no release date at the time of recording, this game is shrouded in mystery. Horrible legends and gloom filmed ancient stories full of unimaginable things have been going on around for centuries. The endless dungeon that was created long before humans, so say the old people, now a place of darkness and ugly creatures. Spark in the Dark is an atmospheric dungeon crawler in a medieval dark fantasy setting where our hero dives into the depths of a grim ancient dungeon. Five classes of heroes with each with unique skills, bloody battles with monstrous creatures and deadly traps, a lot of interactions with the environment including testing the skills of a hero, many secret places, deep and intricate lore, leveling up the skills of the hero as they are used, damaging and repairing the hero's equipment, procedural generation. What terrible secrets keep dark depths in themselves? Is there a limit to the abyss? Who lived here before us? Try to survive in the darkness of endless dungeon full of ancient secrets and terrible creatures or stay here forever trying to find a way out. In this first impressions playthrough, we'll see what the game has to offer and I'll let you know at the end what my thoughts about the game are. Let's get into it. All right, spark in the dark. Let's, uh, let's see what you have in store for us, shall we? Blacksmith, in the heat of the furnace and the sound of metal are with you forever. Your hands are covered with burns, but you are used to this now and you can ignore these. You were born in fire and will die in fire. The blacksmith was your father and your father's father and his father. Seeing a bit of a trend there. In due time, you became the owner of your ancestral smithy. Okay, so I'm guessing he repairs things. So he's got extra strength and constitution, crowbar usage and equipment repair, combat skills, hammers, medium armors, heavy armors and shields, warrior, can't rotate, okay that's fine. You were a brave soldier of the valiant imperial army, the defense and support of the country in battle, you have always been in the forefront, you were not more desperate along the red shields. You were loved for your cheerful character, helping to relive the hardships of army life constitution and strength so blacksmith and warrior okay so he's got two strength one con and he's got two con one strength okay crowbar use battle rage and weapon sharpening okay so swords axes medium armors heavy armors and shields uh so difference is that uh blacksmith can use hammers this guy is a sword and shield okay well i don't mind the idea of that a hunter, uh, righto. Rise of birds, whispers of trees, footprints of animals. You know the forest and it knows you. The forest is always just like death. From an early age you were used to the axe in your hand. Cut the prey, chop the wood, defend against the bear. The forest also taught you how to set and disarm traps. Dex and perception, crowbar usage, traps and ripper. Axe, light armor, medium. And the thief. Previously you were called Master of the Shadow, the best thief in the kingdom. You know how to dissolve into the darkness, sneak like a ghost and enter forbidden places. As they say, you were born by darkness, but you know that this is not true. You were fed by the street. You grew up an orphan in order to survive. You had to learn the art of a thief. Perception, dexterity, crowbar use, picking locks, poisoning and backstabbing. Okay, well, I think uh, for this not knowing how anything works, I think I kind of like the idea of the warrior. They all can use a crowbar, which I'm guessing there's a common theme there that perhaps a crowbar is for getting into places. Uh, he can sharpen his weapon and has battle rage, which I think will be better for defeating what I can make up against. Blacksmith would be good for equipment repair, but I don't know how frequent that would end up being. Um, and no one else has anything to do with that. The thief would be good for picking locks. I'm guessing certain treasures or rooms may require that. But I think uh, overall a warrior with a sword and shield might be my best bet to go through this. So we'll select him. All right, now let's see. What have we got here? So we've got Forgotten Dungeon. I'm guessing these are different. Okay, so we'll read through each of these. So Forgotten Dungeon. Go to the Forgotten Dungeon and dust off millennial old relics. You can meet a lot of different creatures in the darkness of the Endless Labyrinth. For explorers, 
more time to study antiquities and solve mysteries of a vanished race. Less monsters and traps. A cursed dungeon. You have to dive into the dark dungeon, find out the great mysteries of the ancients, and fight a lot of dangerous creatures. The brave adventurers. Dangerous combination of research and fights, a large number of dangers, strong monsters and various traps. Nightmare dungeon. Try to survive in the creepy dungeon, wade through the horrors of ancient depths, face your nightmares, and stay here forever. For the desperate madman, underground labyrinths teeming with vile creatures, deadly traps and dangers lie in wait for you at every turn. Well, I'm going to just take a stab in the dark. I can't select a level there. But I'm going to say that that's an easy, medium and hard. That's how I'm going to read that. So let's just try the cursed dungeon because I have no idea what I'm doing. This place is shrouded in darkness and mystery. There are terrible legends that uh, it has been full of bloody things for centuries. The Endless Dungeon, a mighty civilization was here. So old people say this place has become a haven of darkness and horrific creatures now. So alien to our world, so ancient it remains. Express space to continue. Curse Garrison watches this dangerous dungeon day and night. Outcasts, scammers, offenders, and other reprobates were sent here to repent for their sins. I wonder if Cersei's here. Uh, people say it is better to die on the scaffold than to get sent into this rotten place. I don't know, scaffolds are normally pretty high up. It scared the shit out of me. Warrior, you are accustomed to the military drill, but have also liked a little drink and some fun. For this, you were punished and sent here to the cursed garrison. Damn this drink. Garrison reminded you of a glorious military service, but now you're left here alone in the darkness and your friends will no longer help you here. Whoa, that sensitivity. Let's halve that. Or even more. Okay, so there's no up and down. This is considered precious loot, is it? Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll loot that. That. Yep, yeah, okay, it's just a note. No, okay, what's this? Hang on. Okay. So 291 seconds left. Fair enough. So from what I understand, hang on, I've got to turn this rotation down. Jeez, it's sensitive. Jeez, let's just try all the way down, shall we? Yeah, I'll, that'll have to do. I'll just have to redo my muscle memory. Holy crap. Actually, I've got to turn the mouse down. Okay, camera rotation all the way down. Graphics No adjustments, because it feels like there's some motion blur, but that's all right. So my mouse is now 800 dpi and rotation all the way down, so super sensitive off the bat, but that's fine. It's F2. F oh, the lamp, okay. Let's just loot for now. Uh, loot. So we got a few things right where we start. Okay. Lamps can restore health. Okay, so my life. Okay, so from what I understand, to give you guys a bit of a uh, update, if you don't understand or haven't heard about this game before, apparently this game. So if anyone's played Path of Exile uh, and have done the uh, labyrinth stuff um, or the mine depths, whatever it was, uh, darkness apparently in this will kill you, will hurt you, um, and you have to be mindful of that. So you can't just run around um in the dark you have to worry about using your lantern or you or and turning it off when these lights are here as your lantern doesn't last forever and apparently this is permadeath so once you die you're dead so if you're not paying attention if you're in the dark and you die that's it progress over and you're dead uh so let's see like my bag so light armor so i'm wearing light armor I open a bag, tab, no, okay, that's some skills, is there, right, keybinds, I don't know what the keybinds are, so let's just try pressing a few buttons, I, that, that's items, so I'm guessing I'm wearing that, I must be wearing this, but again, I can't, that C for character. Nope. Okay, ZX. 
J looks to be your journal. Okay, so no idea how to actually open my bag. Hopefully that's something... No, again, that's just... that's not that. Skills. Yeah. So I don't know how to open my bag, so hopefully that's something that I will find later on. Doesn't seem to be any sort of map, so I'm guessing we're kind of alone. So why can't I... Okay. Can't pick it up for some reason. Ancient link, one of ten. Okay. Zoom in, touch, and that's about it. Okay, so you gotta pick up coins individually. That's a little bit annoying. And it feels a little choppy. But hey, it's only a demo with no release date, so I'm hoping that they work on a bit of polish, but otherwise, not terrible. See how it goes when we come across some mobs. Feel like that could have been a doorway of some description. Master's rusty blade. So I've got a rusty short blade that's equipped damage 35, damage 32. Yeah, not now. Okay, so it looks as though you might pick up stuff as you go. And it acts, okay. And I'm guessing as you go, you may come across better equipment or find better equipment or even have to replace equipment if you aren't a blacksmith. It's a deadly trap. Okay. okay. The lack of map in this game makes me hesitant to not want to, as I say, have the wall to my left. To oh, hello. Spiders. Always spiders in game. Why? Why? Hate spiders. Okay. So I almost died there. A okay, shift does seem that does seem to be blocked, but for some reason, it didn't seem like I was blocking. Maybe I've got to be mindful in between animations. Okay. Ooh. Okay. It looks like rats are okay. Coins. Coins are always good. Dagger. Rest. You can rest. Okay, what's not the best place to rest? Yeah, okay, maybe not. Take your advice. Oh, okay, that's cool. So the corpse has got some substance to it as you walk through it and you actually kick it around like a soccer ball. Interesting. Unknown mechanism. Do I want to stand on it? I like science, but I don't want to die. Yeah, right, science. Oh, yeah. Alright, science has been performed and is not good. Right, so I'm now poisoned. I'm going to turn my light off and... Oh, okay, we got these dudes. Alright, and he's got a sword. What up, brother? And that block. Oh, okay. And, oh, and block. Oh, oh, oh! Right, okay. So that's it. I might even just try the blacksmith now this time. I mean, what have I got to lose? I played for seven minutes last time. So we know we need the lantern, so I'll pick that up and turn that on. Alright. Alright. So equipped currently is medium. Let's loot all. Loot that. Rusty Curious Garrison. Okay. So now I'm wearing heavy armor. Right, good on you. And I've got this war hammer. That, I, that it seems you cannot just swing as much as you like. 
Yeah, I don't want medium armor. I don't want light armor. Okay, maybe that was a mistake I made before. Maybe I didn't realize that I was actually equipping new armor. I don't know what the can't coins do, but coins are always good. Rusty axe damage 49. Can I just loot it? Can. Okay. And I have it on my back. What does that mean? Can I change? And then, okay, so you can switch, and now that's on my back. I wonder, can I take this shield? Right, okay, so now I have shield and axe, but my equipment is very heavy. Can I switch to two-handed hammer now? I can, okay, and I put that on my back. All right, well, that's good to know. You can hold on to multiple things, maybe even a couple of uh, hammers. I might actually do... I'm going to drop that and I'm going to drop the axe because I'm actually curious to know about this sword. Let's loot that. That is a one-handed sword, okay. Well look, we'll uh, look, we'll keep, keep hold of it for now. Let's just try the hammer. So I know what to expect a little bit now. And now that I know what to expect, I'll go another way, so I don't know. Ooh, hello. Ooh, one swing nearly killed him. I like the hammer. Ooh, big damage. Okay, okay. The hammer really knocks people on their ass. Hang on, I hear one. Here it is. Come on, you. Big damage. Walk back. Okay. Oh, okay. So he took a bit more. Got him. Another swing for good measure. All right, I am liking the hammer. The hammer. The hammer knows what's up. Oh, hello. All right, I'm getting the hang of the combat now, I think. Famous last words. Okay. Okay, you do have to be very careful. Heavy armor 14, okay. You have to be very careful of your stamina. Uh, your stamina. It's as if that was a mimic, it'd be funny. Uh, your stamina, if you run out of that, I presume you cannot swing, and that would be very bad if you had lots of mobs coming at you. A 36 compared to a 35. Yeah, we'll loot that one instead. A hole in the wall. This hole in the stone wall looks fairly safe. You can easily climb through here, but don't know what being made we. Ooh. Oh, for science. Have to. Okay. So is this like Mario where you take that special pipe that no one has knows how to get to and you sort of cut through the level maybe? Secret place. Okay. Oh look at that. I can I can cook up some breakfast, uh make a couple of toasted sandwiches, uh for later. Okay. Can't really interact with anything in here. Something lit up but then disappeared. And that looks like a drop. Probably don't want to go down there. I can have a rest here. Alright, so rest. Close the door to sleep safely. Okay, so if I close the door. Okay, very good. So what does rest do? Yes, let's have a look at rest. You're hiding in a locked room, and it seems here you will not be disturbed. You can rest easy. Inventory. That's fine. Journal. Mm -hmm. So this is obviously how you restore health. So we'll finish resting. That's about it for me. Cheerfulness. So a bit of extra dexterity. That's what we want. We want to do somersaults in the dungeon. Oh, here, what do I got here? Oh, hello, this thing looks... Oh, nice. 200 hammer, 66... 66 damage! 8 defense, okay. Let's loot that, absolutely. See you later, rusty hammer. Good on ya. Alright, so that's that's a nice upgrade. Okay, so now, that was obviously our secret place, so let's go through here. Oh, hang on, cupboard. And a yellow lamp in here. 
uh, remaining. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I just looted another lamp then, isn't it? Alright. Now I'm going to change back to a two handed hammer because this thing looks sick. Locked. Need ancient bronze key. So perhaps that's where a thief would come in handy as he could actually pick that perhaps. Or just be lucky and open the chest outside the door and find the key that you need. Okay, we'll loot all. It's fine. I've got a ring now. Do I wear the ring? I do. Extra dexterity. Very good. Okay. Oh, look at that. Big damage. So I'm guessing if you can time it right, there are some good combos that you can actually do with some of your weapons. Back. So I'm using the crowbar I didn't know I had. It doesn't open. Crowbar experience. Okay. So can we keep trying? Do you get more crowbar experience? Looks like it. So a weak chance of success. Perhaps. There we go. Look at this. Okay. A two handed sword. Repair tools. I'll take the repair tools. I'll take the two-handed sword. Ooh, I want to loot that. Hang on a moment. All right, let's let's. Oh, hang on. Oh, big damage. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's drop this. Uh, let's drop that. So hopefully. I can take this. Right, okay. So you can only use one two-handed weapon at a time, it looks. with the sword's quite quick. Okay, okay. Damage 63. And that's damage 66. Well, I think for now, I do want more damage. Sailor's old army shield. I'll take the shield because apparently I can have a single handed as well as my two handed. So that could come in useful. I'll take it anyway. Uh, I might. And I might take that sword only because if my hammer breaks, I'd hate to not have a weapon until I know what I'm doing more. Locks need a crowbar. Uh. Okay, I guess I don't have a crowbar anymore. Very good. Did I just come from here? Did. Or did I not? Obviously not going down there. Okay, no, I I came from this one. Oh, and you can sprint, that's handy to know. So this is another one. Oh! Oh, oh, not you on your ass. Big damage! That actually feels nice. It actually feels impactful. Oof. That's the, that's the go, son. So we'll take can't okay. Can't double click on the coins. That's fine. Don't want that because I've just absolutely pounded it. Place. 
locked and I need a crowbar. So apparently once you succeed with your crowbar, you use it. Obviously you must break your crowbar or something. Ooh, is that something dust? Okay. Noticed something. I need to take a closer look. Locked crowbar. Okay, I think I'd like to rest, but obviously I can't right now. It just goes straight down to a new game. Let's continue on. Let's change back to my two-handed hammer. It's a shame that there's no quick sw quick switch between weapons. Be uh, that'd be quite. Oh, there is. Okay, Q. Q is this quick switch. Armor is better, so we'll leave that on. Gotta remember to keep turning my lamp off. I've only got 27 seconds left. Seems as though. What the hell is that? Ghosts or something? Okay. Mistakes are being made. Oh, brutal. Okay, okay, well. Let's try Thief. I don't know. Uh, maybe the quick attack speed might do something for me. I'm going to guess that as a... What I am now. What am I wearing? I'm wearing light armor. I'm going to guess that's what I need. Light armor. So equipped is that with five. So I'll loot his stuff because it is better. I'm using two daggers. Rusty ghost dagger. Dagger. Yeah, okay, we'll loot that. So now, what have I got here? That dagger and that dagger, 23 and 24. Yep, very good. Oh, hang on. Okay. Maybe do I take a sword? Ah, don't worry about it. Let's not worry about it. Let's just go through. We're adventurers. Okay, die, die. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, that was very quick, and he didn't get a chance to actually attack me. So, note to self, daggers can kill quickly. I caused bleeding. Okay. Alright, okay, well that feels a little bit better. That feels a little bit better. Okay. Oh! Oh, look at this. Okay. So I don't mind this. This thief. Yeah, yeah, crawl through, Pink Panther. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, animation for going through, really. Right, what have we got in here? Yeah, I know I can have a rest, but I don't need to. 
there was a chest in here last time and there's not now so does that mean that it's somewhat randomized okay so it's not going to be exactly the same experience each time and that, oh hang on that cupboard is opened mate i w i wonder if i'm going to end up finding my other body Oh, hello, Mr. Slicey McStabby Stab. Back some of my. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez, look out. No, nah, -uh, uh uh. Oh, hello. Scared the absolute nuts out of me. Holy crap. Alright, that's fine. He took a bit more to kill. But I learned, oh, okay, I learned I can move around it seems. So I was able to actually move around the monster and he was sort of having to reposition. So that's interesting. Way, lot off here. Okay, look, it looks as though these lights heal you a lot quicker than what your lantern does. So maybe even fighting in these lights is it, oh. Oh, poison. Get back, get back, get back. Nope. Right, okay. So even while I'm poisoned, I'm getting health back under this light. So if you can fight in these lights, it would seem... Good, now is this someone? Corpse. Lockpick. Yep, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Yes, okay, so you can rotate around and it causes them to not be able to focus on you. Medium, take take the coins. I don't like that you can't double click on coins. Silly. Just come back in the light for a moment and have a look at what's what. Damage 21, damage 22. Alright, so obviously this is where I guess a blacksmith character would come in handy you could actually be repairing things you're using now i think i'm gonna spot it I thought I could hear that creepy crawly coming. Now I think I want a two-handed axe as my backup sword axe. Can I? Oh, my lamp just went out. Okay, so I got my daggers and my axe, so that's... Have I? No, I haven't, have I? I've got two daggers. Ooh, dagger, sword, and axe. Okay, so that's useful. Right, so daggers, daggers kill. I like that. Rusty axe, rusty dagger, rusty axe, rusty dagger. Let's just try the axe. So I died somewhere here and I can't see any more, so let's just hope. I can... Oh, here comes another one of them things. Okay. Oh, and I got a spider. Just what I didn't want. Alright. Let's hope this... At oh, they run. Look at them. Oh. Oh, oh. Get on it. Get wrecked. Oh. Swap to the dagger. Oh, a bit of bleeding. Come on. No, you won't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, daggers. Oh. Yes, get wrecked. Ooh. All right. Oh, I get in the light. Dying here. That axe. Geez, that axe really hit. You sort of felt like you put it right between their eyes. Okay. 
Right, don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Can't see a thing in here. Let's hope for the best, shall we? Stupid rat. Make me waste it. Oh. Oh, okay, that sort of knocked him back, I think. Or he just moves. Oh, darkness. Must run. Okay, not having a lamp is clearly not what you want. To rest. Okay, you don't want much, do you? Oh shit, I thought that corpse was attacking me. Darkness is consuming me. Whoa, okay, let's just run. Let's just run, because I've got to go all the way back. I need to rest. There's light there, that's fine, but I think I need to... Ah! Crawl! Ooh, that was close. I really hope there's lights on the other side of here. Dying in this would just be a real slap in the face. Okay, still dying. Secret place. Cupboard. Okay, that's open. Even though I'm dying, it's a good idea. But there might be... There might be a... What? What? Not now. Wait. Is it locked? Oh, come on. I need... I need light. Come on, come on, come on. There might be a lantern in there. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. There's not, but I'll take the axe. Oh, is there light? Where's there light? Is there light in here? Yeah, right, okay. Dead by poisoning with an unknown poison. So obviously it's the darkness poison. Well, there you go. After playing Spark in the Dark for around an hour and playing three character classes, I can say this about the game. It feels unique enough. While it is very easy for developers these days to just copy Diablo, there are enough small things, in my opinion of course, which I cannot say I have noticed in other games. The loot style and inventory design are very minimal and what you might expect if you were actually an adventurer in a dungeon. The dungeon feels real. This might just be due to the art design, the minimal objects or the right level of noise but you can tell they wanted to give you an immersive experience without going overboard and filling the environment with lots of things to look at or even too many sounds. A spider coming towards you in the dark really gives you the creeps and the sound is just spot on. It provokes thought. And really, who can say they have to do this often in games these days? Usually you just pick up 23 swords and 17 tunics when in a dungeon because, well let's face it, your bag capacity is totally unrealistic and you just hoover as much as you can to sell later. In Spark in the Dark, you have to think about picking up that sword or dropping that armor as you really do not know what you will find next, so your choices will have an impact on you further down the track. While only playing it for a short while, I have these couple of gripes that in my opinion would make for a less frustrating experience on release. The looting is terrible. For a game that promotes not staying in the dark and trying to make you move on or at least use the light to survive, having to click on everything individually is a real pain. You don't want to click on loot all as other items might not be worth swapping for what you have or you might only want to collect the coins. Introducing a quick double click feature on single items when looting would solve this problem. Not having a map or any way to know where you have been honestly is a little frustrating for me. With a procedurally generated dungeon, there is little to no possibility to learn the map and if it really is endless, how can you expect to know where you are going, if it's the right way, or if you're even just going around in circles. If they promote a one-way style of dungeon, then perhaps this won't be needed, but like almost every other game of this style, they give you something to track where you've been. It's not asking for too much for have something to help you to know where you have been. The controls are just too sensitive. The key mapping is non-existent and zooming is comical. You get two clicks of a scroll wheel to move slightly out while most of the area is pitch black, being able to zoom out and maybe get a glimpse of where you are or want to go or even an approaching enemy would be useful, especially with the absence of a map. 
Mouse sensitivity needs to be adjusted on the mouse and generally every game I've ever played allows for in-game adjustment so you can leave your mouse DPI as it is. For gamers without DPI adjustment, this might mean they're unable to play the game as it just wants to spin you around like you're on the teacup ride and that one kid who just wants to spin you as fast as he can because he is the type of kid that's going to grow up to be that one who burns ant the magnifying glass. So really the in-game sensitivity needs to be more adjustable. And also key mapping. I mean this is just a standard thing and it needs to exist. If we cannot map our own keys, at least show us what the defaults are without randomly having to press every button to try and figure it out for ourselves. In conclusion, I think when this game does finally release, if they address those issues that I raise, then it would be worth buying and trying out. Its arcade style of one life while you play would give you a new challenge to beat each time you play the game, which for some might get boring quick, but for some could be rather enjoyable. If the game releases with a price tag of 20 Australian dollars or less, then I think it would be worth the buy. Any more and I think it would probably be overpriced for what is on offer. Thank you very much for watching this video and as usual, make sure you like the video, subscribe and click that bell so you know when the next video drops. Until then, why not come join our Discord and meet the rest of the community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.